Welcome back to my first playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. In the last video, we got terminated from our corpo job, so now Jackie and V are looking for a new opportunity to make it big in Night City. All we need is a little help from two new tunes, Dexter Deshawn and Evelyn Parker. So tonight in Cyberpunk, we're just going to jump right into the main storyline. Um, last time where we left off, we had just completed that little training module with T-Bug, and so we got acquainted with all the weapons and stuff. I am hoping that I retained the information from that to be able to spring into action um, because I think we might be out of the vehicle and like walking towards our destination as I load the game here. But yeah, I think that's it. It's just, we're just gonna start action right away, which is honestly very nerve wracking, but um, it's fine. We're gonna do it right now. Hey everyone, feels great okay, to have you back. Fine. <laughs> so then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or The Whale? Apparently the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters, afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research. What? <laughs> Gotta respect the Elevator. office. This way. Huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Elevator this way. So we just Completed our training. Now it it's time to put our, our training into action. So let me just look at this again. We have X for... Um, we don't have any equipment to heal ourselves if we die, so... Hope this goes okay. And then the rescue. Oh, maybe I should look at my... Okay, because just because it's been a minute since... Jackie explained what's going on to us. I do want to just pull up our journal really quick and read through it. Okay. Okada's got us a gig. Fixer got an SOS call from one of her clients. Oh, that's right. Sandra Dorset. All signs point to her having been plucked off the street by scavengers. Motherfuckers. I am the biz of carving people up and selling their implants on the black market. I think it's time we paid them a visit. What do you say, Chica? Okay, that was supposed to be in Jackie's voice. I thought it was in V's voice. I feel prepared now. Also, I adjusted some settings since last time. Brain dance? Oh, I have to press. Okay. I thought maybe everything was automatic in this world. Oh! Shit! I didn't mean to press Targets anything. Sandra Dorset. Yeah. Target's Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Oh, T-Bug's a real person? Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Uh. Calm, calm the hell down, both of you. Okay. Almost there. <laughs> Forgot about time yeah, responses, bug. too. Oh! Focus. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Wait. Oh, no. That's right. Okay, so scrolling uh, changes what weapon you're using. Okay, Jackie looks serious. Looking for 1237. Okay. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomon. Fingers um, crossed it's not too late. Are you? Oh, I hate this life or death no. shit. Hurry. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Me? Uh... Okay, head into the apartment. I think they're telling me to test the door. Oh shit. To begin quick hacking, look at a device and scan it by holding. Open remote. Uh... Low profile. Keep a low profile? I'm following Jackie. Oh, are we f late? Is that her? Is that our target, V? Uh, Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. Oh shit. Should I look around in here first, though? I don't have any health items or anything. So if we, uh,. Um, bounce back, mark Big one. You got. Let's take that. Uh, it's just we don't 
we don't have anything to heal ourselves if shit goes sideways. Okay, God, I'm so nervous. Make but moves, we have Chica. one thing now, so... F open? Mira, eyes up. Then the hose I hid. What the f***? You just pointed your gun right at my brain. Um, hey. Okay, so I could attack or I could... Okay, I didn't think I would be able to walk through this plastic wrap like that, but apparently so. Oh, uh, let's grab this, I guess. And is there anything else? Um, should I be looking at this stuff? What is this? Oh, that's not what I need. <laughs> on your toes. More bodies incoming. They're almost on you. Me? Let's fuck these reapers. Oh yeah, V, they're coming. What do I do? Wait for your chance. Pick the prick off. Huh? He's. Oh, what do I need to do? Wait. Should I. Real quiet. Grab the one closest. He is closest. Suerte. I murdered him. Okay. <laughs> Nice. But probably not the last of them. Okay, Come thank on. goodness. Bob, right behind you, v. Me? Wait, what are you saying? I sorry, I didn't hear that. I was blinded by the loot. Use the path marked by T Bug. Oh, okay, so Holy shit. I was following T-Bug's uh, instructions to a T. Oh. Okay, we picked up a grenade there. And I have no idea what I just picked up. Defeat the scavenger leader? Okay. Perfect. Got it. How do I... Shoot him? Wasn't he in this room? Don't see any movement on the oh, ho, 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 like ho, ho. Clear to go. Be me. Shoot, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Uh, okay, I need to stop crouching now. I need to loot. Man, it's not my favorite way to roll, but. What? But anyway. Do you disapprove of me, whatever I just took there? Jesus fucking <gasps> Christ. Whoa. Okay, I... Oh! Be, I mean, I got a stomach of steel, but this... Oh, this... I wasn't made for this shit, you know. Chop shops. What they do to people. Oh, poor Jackie. Fucking scab psychos. No more jobs like this. V, get it together. Oh, me? Oh my gosh. Okay, Jackie's keeping watch. I don't think there's anything else in here for us to pick up. There's a pile of pills here, but... Anything else? Should I check? I just don't want to miss anything. Uh, The day the tower fell. Let's see if... In early August 2023, a single event would change the course of history. Although it fell against the bloody backdrop of the Fourth Corporate War, the global media still fed on the story for weeks, and could you blame them? A group of terrorists detonated a nuclear bomb, throwing Arasaka Tower, whoa, into pieces. The terrorist warning came too late. Not all of the tower's employees could be evacuated. The blast itself killed and wounded thousands, while countless others died from radiation sickness. 
How did the biggest terrorist attack of the 21st century happen? Who was behind this catastrophe? To find the answers, we'll need to first understand the context of that era. I wonder, okay, here's already my suspicion that the corporation intentionally did not evacuate all their employees at that time to make themselves seem even more the victim. Let me put on my tinfoil hat for a second before I read the rest of this article. The early 2020s was a period of unrest for Night City and anti-corporate sentiment. Could you imagine being someone in a union? Uh, probably unions don't exist here. But. The epicenter of the city's lawlessness stood the Atlantis Club? Oh, the epicenter. Okay, that's where all the scheming and dreaming goes on. It was seen as the island of the resistance against the powers that be, primarily mega corporations like Militech and Biotechnica, though a special place in hell was reserved for Arasaka, the Japanese arms manufacturing Kaibatsu that held the most influence over Night City. The kinds of people who frequented the Atlantis felt that corporations had hijacked the future and turned people into consumer slaves, and ironically deprived of the two things capitalism loved most, freedom and choice. Oh, interesting. These people called themselves edge runners. They positioned themselves against the corporate world order. They declared their own freedom and opposition to the status quo, but deprived of any peaceful way to meaningfully change what they called the system, quote unquote. They reached for more radical methods of self-expression and these people were no strangers to violence. Okay, good. I'm glad that I didn't miss that because I think that's our first mention of Edge Runner. We didn't hide that guy's body. I think that's going to come back to bite us in the ass, but it seems that I've cleared out this room of all loot. So I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to take a look at these bodies on ice now. My goodness, what a gruesome scene. Okay, I guess that guy. I think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? Oh, is she? Have to find out. V, Jack into our biomon. Need to know what we're dealing with. Uh. Oh, this does not look good. Got another body in the tub? She's in a tub of ice, crammed in with another. Fuck. Like slabs of meat. Keep it together, V. If she survives, she won't remember a thing. Tiny scar on the subconscious, that's all. Heard people who live through shit like this get panic attacks. Without ever knowing why. You'll be sipping a glass of ice cold water and suddenly your hands shake it. V, Jack into her biomon. We need to know what we're dealing with. Yeah, what the hell am I monologuing for? Jacking in. She looks Sandra alive? Dorset, NC570442. Trauma <gasps> team platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Uh, do I need to ask is questions? Is that even safe? Can't we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomon working, checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Okay. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. <laughs> An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Whoa. Biomon Clave's trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Oh my gosh, let's see what the rest of the bill is. Oh, they're not going to say. <laughs> let's get her off that ice. Uh, Jack, look sharp. Not done yet. Don't know who's out there. Locked and ready, V. Do your thing. Okay. You're going to help me, right? You're going to protect me, Jack? Jackie. I don't think oh, he's... Fuck! Oh, she's too heavy? Oh, she's flatlining. V, need huh? to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Catch, Chica. Oh, thank goodness I didn't have to actually catch that. <laughs> I would have missed. And then she would have died. I think. Holy shit, it worked. Fuera, chica. Get her outside. 
Okay. Jet! Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, we just have to go this way. Ship. Must have seen trauma. Decided to oh, okay, horses. they're leaving. They're leaving us. Um, where do I put her? Wait. All right. Landing. Stand clear. Ah! Instructions. Holy shit, could you imagine being an EMT in this universe? Place the patient on the ground. Okay, no trouble at all. I don't know how, though. Okay, <laughs> everything's out. Five steps back. Now. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, I thought you punched me. <laughs> that actually scared me in real life. I thought that T I reacted like... to control. Patient yeah, MC five seven zero four four two secured. Stimulants being administered. Seventy milligrams dopamine. One hundred and ten norepinephrine. Eight hundred fibrinogen. Wow, those sound like real drug names. Those are some strange medics. Yes, I mean, I guess when you're picking up people who are potentially being, I don't know, it seems like beaten to death in the street or something. I don't know, you guys. I haven't been in Night City for long, but it seems like they're going through some crises here. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Oh. Listen, you got. I got this thing. Picking up a friend. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Can I huh. meet? Uh, take? I got a date with Misty, but I can't take the metro. Whoa! Oh, look look at me. this. Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. I was listening to what Jackie was saying. We're lending him a, a vehicle, so he must be a very good friend. I mean, obviously at this point. Uh, okay, introduction to pain editors and mortality rates. The implant known widely as the pain editor is cyberware that redu 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 reduces or evenly Oh my God, or even entirely eliminates pain. It has enjoyed unwavering popularity for years among certain circles in Night City. The most devoted and arguably most valuable of which is mercenaries. That makes sense. It is using this test group that Zeta Tech conducted the following research. The pain editor is a neural Oh, co-processor. <laughs> I was trying to put corpo in there. The beneficial effects caused by the pain editor are in some ways similar to the symptoms of hypoesthesia, including greater resistance to physical forms of torture and the ability to ignore pain from severe wounds, which can allow the user to continue to perform beyond normal human limitations for a brief period. However, some studies have reported that the main editor can yield a range of undesirable side effects. For example, in the heat of battle, some users are unaware of the severity of their wounds. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like, if you're a mercenary and you use this thing, would you die more readily because you're unaware that you're bleeding out? The statistics support the theory that a lack of negative reinforcement may cause users to continue fighting when the rational strategy would be to retreat and escape death. Since 2020, the mortality rate of pain editor owners is above 60%. Okay, so I don't know. It feels like you should probably just use that for like surgery uh, or something. Well, that's interesting. I wonder how it was being used in this scenario here. Maybe to keep people alive for longer? That, I don't know, that doesn't seem very logical. I'm sure there's a reason and someone, you in the comments or chat will tell me. Oh, enter the elevator. Okay, I'm gonna loot though instead. So we got this guy over here. Let's see, there's another X right over this way. Let's take whatever that is. Oh, that's right, we have a weight limit. Okay, I'm gonna have to test this out. Hopefully we meet someone who we can sell things to soon. All right, ammo, definitely need that. Here's another body here. This is so cool. I'm building on the knowledge that I've gained from playing other video games. Like to look at the map for the X's where you've murdered people. <laughs> I don't remember knocking out so many people. Uh, oh, I tried to holster my weapon, but I think this is holstering. 
I thought double tapping alt was... Oh, that's... Oh, so I could have hacked all these things. Interesting. Whoa, they have all these snacks available to us. That's disgusting. We're gonna eat the snacks provided at a chop shop. You're saving my ass, V. Thank you. You're welcome. How about I drive you home, huh? She's uh, all yours. That'd be great. I'm beat as it is. What? I'm gonna walk home? God, that sucks. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako on the hollow. Tell her the job's done. What the hell did he just say? I loved that. What did, what did he say? The Wakako on the hollow? What the heck? <laughs> okay. To access your phone, press T. Oh, do I have to push this? Hey, huh, huh? Let's press T. Shh. Gonna be long? I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how to use my phone. Okay, I pressed T, but you have to hold T. Oh, I could call my life coach. Oh, my God. Uh, let's call them? <clears throat> v, oh. How did it go? Our client is alive and well. Of course she's alive and well. It's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Oh. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. I I feel a driving tutorial incoming. Words out the NCPD is going to put Watson on lockdown. If I'm going to sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, chica. I'm driving. Oh, you, you're driving? Okay. I anticipate a shooting out of a car window tutorial approaching. <laughs> That's okay. I'm sure this will go well. I anticipate this going smoothly. What is that Batman mask he has on the desk? Is that what I'm seeing? Oh, it's a bobblehead. Oh my gosh, I'm just nervous. I'm just nervously talking. Oh, Pont, hollow is a hologram. Can't stop digging Night City. Okay. Sorry to sorry to step in here, but <laughs> now the sounds too quiet. I don't think this music is copyrighted, so I do kind of want to listen to it a little bit. City like any other, just bigger. Ah, oh, chica, not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, Andrew Wayland, Adam Smasher, legends are born here. Man, I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? A tight Jackie, bite? You're locking down Watson, member. Oh, shit. You're right. <laughs> Is it what a silly guy. Or... Jackie's just a real goofball. Oh, I knew it. Man on her ass, tailing us. What? I don't like this thing. No oh, no. Scabs! Hijo de puta! Oh, my gosh. I can't oh, aim for God. shit. <laughs> wait, 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 I need to, I want to switch weapons to the machine gun. Holy shit, we're just running over there. <gasps> oh, get out of the way, poor pedestrian. I don't know how to get back in the vehicle. Uh, oh, I can't shoot their tires? This game is so realistic. Oh, shoot the driver, that makes sense. Chingado! Wait, but there's loot in that vehicle. We need to stop. <laughs> okay, I thought I was falling out of Scratched the car. Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. <sighs> it can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Damn. I'm pulling out all the stops. Oh, God. Are we going to have to fight that? Oh, no. A lady with a ponytail. Watson's on lockdown to further notice. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? What the- Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Oh my god. Your girl? Uh-huh. Gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, 
I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. Is she giving me a chance? Waiting. Hmm. That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. What? Oh my gosh. How is this working? Let them through. She's gonna but murder us last. now. Okay. Okay. On your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. What the hell was that? Uh... She took a liking to you. Oh, she the did? The I demonstrated grabbed her by the gut. Right. I'm loyal, stable in my affections. Mm-hmm. I feel that. And unassuming. You get it. Unassuming? Definitely. Is that a police vehicle? Doesn't look like your average bust. This ain't your average badges. That's Max Tech. NCPD's apex predators. MTAC rolls in when things fly out of hand. Gonks out there, though. Just a midday snack for them. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. Oh, snap. But Don't make him mad. Coming. Uh, if you're riding as a passenger and nothing important is going on, you can press F to skip the ride. Oh, okay. F to skip ride. Sweet dreams, then. Toodaloo! Tell Misty I said hi. Oh, I nice. Will. We have a handshake. Okay. <laughs> Take care of my car, I guess. So I live here. Take me home, Mr. Garage. Door. What? Elevator. Okay, here we go. Apartments. Um, do I click? Okay, yes, I click. Usually it's F. Bug? Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deets. Oh, there's a bunch of new pathways on my map. Ew! This looks weird. Most precise thermal paste app. What? A thermal paste applicator? <laughs> also, I think that this is the news guy that's in the, um, main... Whoa, is this a televangelist? Night after night? Okay, how do I get off of here? Oh, I just walk. I just walk forward. Don't have to reload or anything. It's crazy. And Zartran, you say, that's a night show? Uh, oh, uh, like a late night show. And they were the guests. Yes. I didn't, I didn't say that very well. I should have just said, um... I thought maybe that guy was a televangelist being interviewed because he had a big old cross on his head, but I think it was upside down. Now that I, I don't know too much about religion, but I feel like I should know if, I, if the cross was upside down. Was it? Maybe he's a Satanist. Both seem equally likely in this world. Is this, okay, this is, for a second I was like, did I just walk into some random person's apartment? Okay, job updated the rescue. Shall we look at what the update was? Go to bed. Okay, perfect. So, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like in other games, every time you complete a new section of a quest, the journal will update and like tell you a little bit more about what you're supposed to be doing. Um, like it'll update the actual story paragraph, but this one, it just gives you another bullet point for what you're doing next. All right, so... Over substance is what's on screen here. Body needs some tweaks? Approach the mirror in your apartment or safe house and select change appearance option. Got some favorite threads? Create outfits in your apartment's wardrobe so you can change the appearance of your equipped clothing whenever you want. Something that I heard about this game is that you kind of wear two sets of clothing most often so you can wear items that have the best buffs. <laughs> if I'm using that term correctly, but then you can also have your aesthetically pleasing clothes on like over that. Is that what they're talking about here? Um, also, what is my mirror? Is this a mirror? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's, sorry, it's just every piece of tech is like, is the screen going to shift and suddenly become a mirror? I don't know. How do I use technology? I'm like a freaking... I don't think I need to pick any of that stuff up. Uh, Oh, here. Here's my mirror. Look. I'm looking. Taking a real close... See? Look. This is how mirrors work in this game. They, like, appear. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe I was going to smile at myself or something. Oh, I can change my... What? Why would I do this? Am I smiling? What does scowling look like? I'm not convinced that was a facial expression. I, I'm, I'm not convinced. Pout? It must not be working. Is this an actual face expression? Oh, there. There, okay. That that worked. Maybe it's because my eyebrows are so light. I can scowl. Okay, this is... Okay, well, interesting. Uh, let's stop looking. And our only mission is to go to bed, so I just was trying to... Uh, uh, check your weapon stash? How does one do that? How does one accomplish looking at my... Oh, this isn't... Oh, it's a bathroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I could sleep or... I just want to finish exploring the apartment. Oh, open wardrobe. Wow. This is like... I think it's in Mean Girls when she has the digital... <laughs> the digital wardrobe. That's immediately what I was thinking of when we entered this. Oh, okay, we're in tutorial. This is why. Just read. Closet. <laughs> you have up to six outfits saved in your wardrobe. You can have up to six outfits saved in your wardrobe. These can be activated and deactivated in the outfit section of your inventory at any time. Activating a wardrobe outfit will change the appearance of the clothing you have equipped, but will not change its stats. All clothing you find, receive, craft, disassemble, buy, or sell will be saved in your wardrobe's memory. So just anything that we ever touch, ever, it sounds like. So we have a purple jumpsuit. Nice. We don't have any shoes. Oh, okay, here we here it's upper body. I don't really wanna wear this top, but the only other thing we have is a jumpsuit. Pumps, sneakers, or worn biker shoes with composite inserts. Your grandma owned a pair of these? Hell yeah, get them on me. 3,000, we will thank Granny when somebody shoots at our feet and those double layered woolen sock inlays save our life. I would. I preemptively thank our grandma for that. All right, let's go to bed. <laughs> Time for a snooze. Yep, just put my hands over my eyes and go to sleep. That's how everyone does it. Oh, I read before bed? All right. I assumed that I had sweet dreams. Not dreaming about the office. Oh, you can switch between active object job objectives with Z. Whoa, V? You get your beauty sleep? <laughs> no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jacked into that corpo's biome on. I know a neurovirus or... Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. All right. I hope it's better than you found it. That would be really nice of you, but no, no obligation. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave this stuff here. Uh, new brain bio dances? What's up, BD Maniacs? Hungry for a new emo rush? Then check out the latest word from the freshest BDs on the market. Foreign body. The body is everything. There's nothing else. It's you. But it's also just a tool for your mind to interact with in the world. What would happen if this tool tried to live on its own life? Its own life. What if it tried to kill you? Is that like what I would experience? That sounds... Parable. 
though not a particularly original edition of the thriller genre, is still a solid experi experiential ride. The fear of disobedient implants has been around since pirates were walking around on peg legs, you know what I'm saying? As a result, the trope has been pervasive in film. Brain dance, the urban legend alike, still foreign body, borrows some of the genre's best elements while still incorporating just enough new stuff to the mix to keep it interesting. Okay, that says nothing. That was a nothing burger of a sentence. Uh, Maxwell's Rehab, the brain dance season has been chock full of horror, but I feel like you could just walk outside and watch horror <laughs> unfold before your eyes. Like we just witnessed like bounty hunters or something just murder a bunch of people uh, who are robbing somebody else. Where's our reading? The title offers a tone of optimism, but don't let that fool you. You will relive Maxwell's slip into psychosis, a heartbreak of his, the heartbreak of his wife, and the gradual reintegration into a world that is now far different from the one he left. This brain dance is a must relive of the season, <laughs> but it's not for the faint of heart. All of these sound really intense. Badlands Raid, at, the, at last, a brain dance for those looking for something a little lighter. Brainlands, what? Badlands Raid is a remake of the, oh my gosh, another remake, 2032 classic, which was an innovative tour de force of the f time. For those of you unfamiliar, the plot revolves around an ordinary boring guy who accidentally gets tangled up in a nomad ambush on the Zeta Tech convoy. I won't spoil it because even though the main plot hasn't changed in 54 years, most people these days probably don't know the ending. What I will say is this, the remake's creators have introduced a few modern twists into the story that should make for a pleasant surprise to classics lovers and newbies alike. Well, that just sounds like a goofy fun time. Okay, I could sit. Okay, hot, hot take here. I feel like sitting does not need to exist in games. I don't know why it's in games where, oh, I can take a shower. Is that helpful? Okay, you can tell I'm tormented because I'm choosing to shower like this. Who just showers facing the wall with the water spraying directly on their forehead? A uh, burrito extra extra large. Hey, oh, v, Regina. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Wow, mysterious. Um, I guess not that mysterious because she gave me her name, but. <laughs> Uh, okay, no, I'm going the wrong way. I just wanted to walk up to this man here. Live your fucking life, hun, cause tomorrow ain't coming. That's a really uh Oh, it's not coming? Okay. That I was like about to say, oh that's a really nice sentiment. And then it was like, nope, just kidding, because you're gonna fucking die. So what? You embarrassed? No, that ain't it. What is it then? Just Oh! Uh, her look, arm! Alright. She's biotic. Right oh, now. her boots. Those are sick. Okay, I think I need to go downstairs. Oh, oh my gosh. There's like all these vendors in our apartment complex. Oh, there's also a gun. Hey, yo, V. Huh? How about a round or two? What do you say? Coach Fred? How you like my new punching bag? Oh. Just gave me a next gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how yeah. about it? Um, I don't know if I should do How's this right going? now. Maybe we should just Spite's meet with Jackie. Start. Not gonna watch? Take notes? Malone versus Hernandez? <laughs> nah, our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. Where'd you get him, Fred? Yep. <laughs> Off the street. The no. Saw him looking up no at me with these big, Sorry. sad eyes. I, 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 no. So I took the poor pup in, fed him, clothed him. I think he stole this robot. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military bot. Got 
got a sweet deal, and a Truma mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. About to fight. Uh, not today. No, not today. Thanks anyway. Whatever. I'll be here. All right. Good to know, because I do kind of want to meet with... Oh, can I talk to you? Okay. I don't know what these symbols are above their heads, and it says not to go in there. Oh, me. Hi. You. Let's have a look. Okay. So here's a vendor. This is how vending works. Oh my gosh. This is the most insane thing to look at for me. <laughs> There's so many, like, what is this? This doesn't even look like anything's in there. But it is something I can buy, I think. Oh, a crafting spec. So the these are blueprints. That's why they don't look like anything. Okay, this makes sense now. There's a little exclamation point <laughs> over the gun that we actually need. So let's grab that. Any other things like that? God damn it. It, it looks like I'm supposed to do something with these. Oh my gosh, I feel so silly. I feel like such a goof. Thanks a lot. All right. Upgrading iconic weapons and clothing. You've just received an iconic item along with a set of iconic crafting specs. You can use these to upgrade to higher rarities, substantially increasing its power. Iconic weapons and clothing can be found all over Night City and are uniquely capable of increasing the rarity with the right components and crafting perks. When a high rarity icon item is crafted, the lower rarity version is destroyed. <laughs> All right, so this is excellent. We have a something that is iconic now. Job completed the gun. I didn't even know we had that mission. What the frick? Everyone is just pointing freaking weapons all over the place. I turn around and I think I'm about to be assaulted at any moment. All right, let's go to the elevator, as we should have done a thousand hours ago when we started playing. Uh, entrance. I assume that Jackie's here. It's all in the, report. the NPC's discussions are... Oh. Are so... Mm, it sounds like people are talking to you. Okay, so we have another tutorial screen. NCPD scanner hustles the NCPD will pay you to help fight crime. Okay, so that's the NCPD icon. Gigs fixers will contact you when you approach a gigs location. Okay, so that's for the icons there. And then fixers, these inter intermediaries will inform you about local gigs available. Okay, so this isn't starting anything. We're just collecting quests from them, maybe? Very nice. Okay, let's walk out here. Is this an NCPD thing? Oh, okay. the Ripper Dock. Mm. Woman of the hour. Jeez. Ah, they took you long Jackie. enough. Worked up an appetite. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I got lost in my own apartment. It's kind of pretty Sit embarrassing. Down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Oh, I see. Sitting is important in this game. What you eating? Didn't figure you as the type for Asian. I would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Yeah. Check. Sin sirloin? Check. Get some more chile action up in here and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> okay, let's sit. I mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably brain both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens... I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J O B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that it's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshawn. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. <laughs> 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. <laughs> okay. Jackie seems like. Sort of like a kid in a candy store when talking about this man. Or, or, I don't know, about crime life in general. My goodness, I love this guy. It's so much panache, too. Okay, how did you manage this? How did you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? 
Far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You, me? <laughs> oh, but T-Bug, she's the one that hooked us up, got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. Tell me more about Dexter Dex. Deshaun. What's the latest spec on him? Know you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was he took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. Hell was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off to hardcore virtues. <laughs> Important thing is he's back. Needs a fresh crew, and he found us. What if he's been replaced by a robot version of him? So what's yes. the gig? Are you meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but old deal's riding on you now, chica. All right. Let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. I like Wakako. She seems really dope. Hmm. I know my way around fixers. No, really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias a Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. It keeps saying system malfunction. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. So must something must be really wrong with my... Uh, we must have picked up a bug or something, I think V said. From the last um, person that we tried to help. So we rolling or what? Yeah. Let's feel this factory new ride. If they be hatin', we're rolling. I wish that I walked as fast as Jackie, but I am much faster. Am I driving? Oh my gosh! <laughs> the sidewalk is a um a screen. First stop. Ripper Duck. Anchika, easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. Okay, we'll try. Ex oh, I was my God. supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me Wait, and am I going the right way? Okay, I am. You don't say. She's How so sweet. Really gets me, you know. How do I uh, exit radio? Oh, switch camera. Okay, I was like, do I have to drive inside the vehicle? Uh, okay, then we're turning this way. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Government property is in trouble. Mazel's on the street. Oh, here we are. Wait. <laughs> Shit! Where do I find parking in this beat? Oh, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I'm on the sidewalk now. I am a good driver. <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I forgot that I have to use the camera. I can't just use WASD. Oh my gosh, I am so close to the parking spot. Come on, how many? This is like a thousand point turn. Am I there yet? They're like not letting yeah, me drive it. forward. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll have okay. what Dex has cooked up for us. Oh, bad guys. Don't disturb. Hello. Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around us, even within us. Your joys, your worries, your life. For them, it is all mere spectacle. Yeah, if anyone was watching and giving a damn, I'd have the city's underworld and half its corpse on my ass already. And if you are their pawn, <laughs> unknowingly carrying out their secret agendas, 
Was that a rhetorical question? I can't answer him. So, I don't know. But it sounded like a question. Who follow our every step, you ask? Why the titans of entertainment in Alpha Centauri? Hey, V. In oh, Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over right here. Me and Misty got a little here. kitchen up to do. Oh, oh this is his girlfriend, you, maybe. Like That's who he was shower. talking about. Let's read this. Oh, shit, I knocked over all their incense. The world as will and idea. Dot, dot, dot. But besides all this, death is the great opportunity no longer to be. I, to him, who uses it. During life, the will of man is without freedom. His action takes place with necessity upon the basis of his unaltered character in the chain of motives. But every one remembers much that he has done, and on account of which he is by no means satisfied with himself. If now he were to go on living, he would go on acting in the same way on account of the unalterable nature of his character. Accordingly, he must cease to be what he is in order to be able to arise out of the germ of his nature as a new and different being. Therefore, death loses these bonds. He will again become free. For freedom lies in the ease, not the operari. All right. Lessons well learned. Arthur Schopenhauer. Hauer. Open your mind before it okay, is it's kind of annoying that you can still hear this man shouting, even oh. though we're in a is different building. Dangerous? Your daddy you is no the more. hero. No what does that even mean? What does that even mean? Horoscopes storytelling group. What could this mean? Clients from group storyteller? You did it again. You rolled up your sleeves and cleaned the Ogden stables. Everyone admires you, but you know that your only reward will be the next task you're given. There are not many like you in Night City, but without the city, oh, without you, the city would have long turned into shadows and dust. Avoid flirty alls? What's alls? That try to impress you with their knowledge of ancient Greek. Your lucky place, the net. Okay, so these are like fortune tellers? Okay, okay. so this is, this is a horoscope reading for different clients. <laughs> that was Scorpio, this is Capricorn. I don't know very much about horoscopes. You, oh, you're born a corpo. You, you plot, you plan, you calculate, and weave webs so tangled you sometimes lose yourself in them. If only you were the one calling the shots, you would already have the city at your feet. Unfortunately, you're caught up in a maze of responsibilities, but whatever you're plotting, make sure you see through it to the end. Avoid last minute changes to your plans. Your lucky place, Arasaka Tower. And then we have many other signs. Oh, you could read one. Maybe it's one for every sign. Just in case you curious cats out there who pay attention to your horoscope want to take a look-see. But let's go to our destination here. Okay, a basement. I love it. Oh, a kitty cat. Hello, Pooh. What are you doing? Uh, oh my god! You got a big dumb face. <laughs> wow. Sick burn, kid. Give me high five. Uh, anything else here? That's nothing compared to the kids in freaking Red Dead Redemption. Okay. Uh, Ripper Doc. Though a common practice, cyberware installation is still a dangerous and invasive procedure that can only be performed by qualified specialists located in the basement of your friendly horoscope office. <laughs> there are several Ripper Docs operating throughout Night City who offer a variety of different cyberware upgrades. Select your desired cybernetic op upgrade and the lit from the list and enjoy your new abilities. Eh. Vicky, spry as ever, you old ripper. Good to see you. How old is he? Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig, had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kitten caboodle. All right, kid. Look at all these lucky we'll cats. Sort you out in a flash. There's so Size many. Out. How are things? 
There's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I was just assuming there'd be more. Um, let's say, uh, have I heard of any? Fixer. Gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. <laughs> the Dexter Deshaun? Okay, that move. Uh, well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Uh... I'll pay you once the job is done? Can I just pay him now? Uh, V? Hello? Oh, I... I can't pay him. I oh I don't have the money. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? What the? He has a tattoo with the Shut hobo up, font on Sit his. Sit down. Relax. Oh my gosh. Okay, this man has a tattoo on the back of his arm. The font is called hobo. Okay? <laughs> Gonna keep me waiting all I recognize day. that font everywhere. Anywhere. I have to look at it. I swear to God. Okay. It says, it's the one that says pain, I think. If I'm wrong, I'll eat my hat. Uh, V? Holy shit, his arms. Okay, you know what? Enough scrutinizing this man. Oh, he has a little boxing glove, um, pendant? Interesting. Interesting man. I kind of, I kind of regret telling you anything more than I need to tell you about my life. <laughs> Please don't take more drugs. Hiroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Oh, an eyeball. Implant, maybe? Now jack in. I consent. Groshy, whoa! Thick, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm, sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this... might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's oh. in hand. I guess he thinks I'm cool and would like me to have a nice implant. Or is trying to make me extremely in debt. You peruse to him. and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Oh shit. Oh no, not another interface I have to hem and haw over. Okay, cybernetic implants are mechanical replacements for the organic parts of your body. They can give you superhuman like abilities, which can improve your combat capabilities and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although a common practice in 27.7, the installation of cyberware is still an invasive and sometimes dangerous medical procedure. Only specialists known as Ripperdox are trusted to install cyberware safely. Okay, okay, so we've seen this menu before, but we didn't actually interact with it at all. Well, I guess I'll just do the highlighted ones because it seems like that's what they want me to do and they also put an eyeball into the machine that we're now plugged into. Let us install. Do I drag it into here? No. Uh, okay, I'll probably click on it. Kiroshia. Oh my gosh. There's not enough contrast on this red and black background. Kiroshi Optical Cyberware is a widely popular suit composed. Okay, I was just trying to read if they had, if there are any side effects to deciding to go with implants. Um, deciding to implant implants. That seems like the wrong <laughs> thing to say, implant implants, but I guess it's correct. Let's buy it. Are you sure you want to buy the equipped implant? Yep. Cyberware you acquire in the world can be installed or sold at any Ripper Doc clinic. Okay. 
So they're body mods that you can swap anytime. I think that's all for now, folks. Let's go back and check out what we got for hands. Increases the chance to ricochet shots with power weapons? Directly links the user's optical implant to the weapon system, offering real-time data tracking. That's like literal aim buy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, let's buy it. Are you sure? I think so. Okay. I think that's all we should do for now. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body nice. will still show up as crystal clear. Okay. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. Beep, beep, boop, boop, bop. I'm ready. I'm a surgeon. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of <gasps> yours right here. Okay, now this is the surgery part. He was just looking at what's available on his computer. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being what? honest... What? His name is Victor Vector! Much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town. But been sleeping nights ever since. That sounds amazing. I'm happy for you, Victor. I did not realize that his name was Victor Victor. <laughs> I uh, wish I had learned that sooner. Okay, so we uh, had five v? cats before. Now it's six, seven. Uh, do we see any other ones? Seven cats. Just like that. Thanks. You're welcome. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Okay. <laughs> that makes me nervous. Feel anything? I guess. Play by play, though. <laughs> really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky ganic hand. Could slip. Wow. You Lights would have a lawsuit a minute, on your right. hands quicker than you could say, Victor Vector. Okay, let's test this. Let's see the magic in action. Linking you in. Oh shit, I have more UI. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Do you have a mirror? Seen more keep dramatic me waiting all day. Before? Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Ah, scanning people with your optical cyberware can provide you with a lot of useful information, such as how strong an enemy might be, who is in their crew, or what type of weapon they use. As a skilled netrunner, you can see a list of quick hacks which you can use against your enemies. Time for the scanner. Okay, hold tab. Eh, Kiroshi. Hi! Victor Vector, civilian. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. Okay, his voice got a lot scarier. Oh? I also injected an NCPD file search. Oh. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Many ne'er do wells. So many, so many words that I've never said before out loud. Probably, kitten caboodle. I don't know. I've ever said that before. Okay. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Oh, I don't know. That gives me shivers looking at my hand and seeing the. Whatever is now glued to it. Whoa, my skin texture is so real. It's weird. Uh, what about the virus? How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. 
and a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Uh, thank you, Vic. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say so you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. I won't remember that if I actually have to do it. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. Tasty. That was peppermint. That was bubble, bubble gum flavored, right? <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. I think that guy might die. Uh... Okay, Jackie just messaged me asking what's taking me so long. Um, I'm about to go f on a scavenger hunt for the rest of this man's... goddamn cat statues. They- they're not even unique! They all look the same! Oh, who's winning? Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Oh my gosh! Its eyes are so big! Okay, gotta stand up now. Uh, well, I was gonna say... I'm not sure why Jackie cares that we're taking a long time. Isn't he trying to get it on with this lady? Whack, babe. I can release it for you. Oh, is she too, to like, for granola for Jackie? And avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. Oh, yeah? He's waiting in his ride. For you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked. Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay. Do my best to talk us up. What are you... Checking them out? V, listen. No, I've got this delicate matter. It's why I called you. Oh, yeah. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, oh, but scan. this issue matters to me for a few reasons. So what happened to her? But what they Die don't There are people who say cyber psychosis yeah. can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. Oh, I get it. Oh, do I need yeah. to say anything to her? So you wanna say hi? If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tag hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. That is. There are various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. Non-lethal takedown, non-lethal quick hands, non-lethal weapons, EMP grenades, and some combat gadgets. Okay. Interesting. So you could f probably fight enemies with non-lethal weapons what and be kind of a pacifist, maybe? What are the beings of the net if not souls Can I scan you? Our plane of existence? Gerald Winkler. I have heard their voices. Can I... Okay, main missions. Can I click on that to activate it? Track objective, select. Meet with Dex. Okay, cool. And then side jobs... All right, all right, so this, okay, I like that this journal clearly kind of outlays or outlines everything and it's very clear what I need to click to activate it. Nice. Uh, okay, can I walk there, do you think? Oh. This is Night City. No one's got a soul Oh my God, I'm dying to this Mark as you will, unbeliever. You shall see who laughs last as you're engulfed in hellfire. Oh my gosh, I love Satan these gestures. Satan himself! Wow. Satan you know, himself. I heard the runner who wrote that Satan. What is the stance? Sense of humor. <laughs> you ask, who opened these unholy gates of the abyss? No one's asking. And I answer you, the techno necromancers of Alpha Centauri. Oh my goodness! This is gross. I recognize you. You come here often. What? Your eyes tell me uh, that your I don't want to. I don't want to be about you anymore. I don't want him to recognize Will me. You provide a humble donation so that Maybe some other time. Money. That's crazy that I can still hear him. I'm like halfway down the street. Oh, snap! Someone needs to get this man a bigger vehicle. Hi, Dex and Dex's friend. Wow, that tattoo is amazing.
Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. <laughs> Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would yes. you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? I, do you think that I've never been in a business meeting before? What the f kind of... <laughs> what, this is insulting. This is insulting to me, the way that you're speaking uh, right v? now. Uh, Miss No... Nobody's don't survive in Night City. Is this some kind of test? How they remember you? That's all that counts. Um, you're either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my mm. line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. <sighs> Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav haunt. Okay, he's assuming that we have free will, but whatever. That's not the cyberpunk game we're playing right now. Mm. Hello. Hey, I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T Bug sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old fashioned. This could have been I an like email. To look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past. And Sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Oh, great. A test. The job. Tell me more. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. I don't know, man. It's kind of a death sentence. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. Oh. What can I say, Miss I thought v? that it was because of high my risk, past. High reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. The way his arm just ends in the prosthetic is. It, is like blowing my mind right now. Uh, the um, client, tell me v. about her. Or Maelstrom, what's the issue? Let's say the first thing. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Okay. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. Ah. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Cause if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. The problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say went, cause Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Corpo agent, what's she playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Hmm. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport, got stood up. 
Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her bosses learn she fucked up. Well, Miss V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Mm, the client. Tell me about her. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Miss V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. I think also... Okay, before you didn't phrase it like that, before you phrased it as I would be smelling like piss and be a nothing nobody. Quiet life sounds great. Blaze of glory sounds like I might also be dead. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in Night City. Oh, Night City Underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Okay. Jackster, talk to Dex. Yeah, <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah? Hmm. He was out to work me over? Wants to check us out, see if we got what it takes. You with me, chica? Sorry, I was just reading our tech, the text from Dex. Claimed to want to check our pro cred, but to me it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick, hostile takeover. About sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. Chingon. Yeah, you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Uh, there's this other thing. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Let's start with the client. Parker. Think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground, sniff around. Hasta luego. Okay, go to Lizzie's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Okay. Uh, I can't remember how to call my vehicle. How far away is this? And also, what time is it? It's 7 p.m. Okay, so we could go there now. Oh, here's Lizzie's. Perfect. Can I park it here? I'm so sorry. Hey, let's go. Oh, it's a new bouncer. Hey Good, I don't have to fight face. you. Introduce oh, she you knows me. BD. Corpo, I've been here before. Not my first time. Don't remember you. Because I didn't get in through the front. Ha, huh, get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no copping feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, doll. 
Welcome to Lizzie. What am I here to do? My, what a sweet little face you have. Uh, are you talking to me? I do have a sweet face. I made it myself. Can I pick these up? They look like cards, collectible cards or something. Let's not explore. Let's just go to our... Oh my god. <laughs> Let's just go to our destination. It seems like clubs really f*** up my... <laughs> my uh, frame rates. Alright. Hey. Mr. Man. I don't, who I don't know. Get you something. I feel very close to you, and I don't know if I better get going. <laughs> uh, what can I get here? I'm looking for Evelyn. Uh, maybe I should. Maybe I should buy something first. Uh, you gonna say let's something? ask about Lizzie. So curious. The name Lizzie's. That the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Oh, now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's Bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Let me guess. It didn't last. No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Nothing ever does, doll Tiger face. Beat one of Lizzie's oh girls my god, I need to stop talking. Ones. No hesitation. Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave oh. this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Literally, it it's literally me. I just talked to you about some stuff. Okay, a big tipper. Well? Oh, it's we're using our cool points. Okay, let's try that. A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Oh, she's been sitting here this whole time. I feel stupid. Evelyn Parker. I assumed. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first. Like, like why? Do you, what, what are you, what are you saying, Evelyn? Why are we meeting here? What do you think? Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. Like this man here? We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what? Oh, can now, girl now. Like oh, never mind. I was about to say I can. I'm keeping pace with her instead of. Uh, okay, I can sit, but that's not what I want to do. I want to pick up this thing. I want to. I want to pick up the thing. God damn it! Uh, okay, let's sit. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. Oh. I hope he wasn't overselling. Uh, sorry, just was distracted there for a second. I'm the best. Use my cool points. Uh, you don't care what Dex thinks. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You don't give a rat's left conflict. ball sack. No, just think flattery's beneath you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Uh, just started working with him. Or what, you writing Dex's bio or something? You writing Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Why do people keep saying yes. that? Jackie said that too. Is this like a common phrase? People say that they finger you for things? That seems like unnecessary Hi. vulgarity. Shit, buzz and I'm offended. Off, getting cold feet. I can wait. 
I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear, for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used car salesmen. <laughs> I'll go with my gut for now. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, mm. the hotel. You ever been? Yeah, we read about it. Corpo, I'm familiar with the franchise. Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Compeki and Tokyo's still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan's staff. The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. Ugh, all the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? Huh. Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's the on the lips sheets? of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Empress prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Ooh. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? People live a long time in this game, I guess, if you're rich. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. What? <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He oh. lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. I don't know, that's he bold of you to claim. turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Even so, it's still Yorinobu fucking Arasaka. Top dog like Yorinobu's been to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. What's huh. Huskle? Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Intel. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. <laughs> Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Nope, don't buy it. Netwatch's integrity rests on their neutrality. Why would they tarnish their rep by procuring stolen goods? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant, you focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. All right, I can do that for you, Evelyn. Uh, okay, the relic. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Uh, oh, I have a corpo response I could bring up. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo, probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. 
joined the Steel Dragons, Nomads, from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup or its downfall. We read about this. Mm. That flash of youthful in rebellion ended session. like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. What? Okay. Uh, maybe he's just got a taste for power? Risky move with the biochip. V? Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. I don't know, are we falling for that? One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant, entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V, the relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. It's crazy. The way that we're talking with Evelyn, it feels like we've known her for a really long time. But we only just met. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Okay. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. Oh. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. They can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to oh. make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Oh. Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Okay, this is exciting. So we're doing some little es we're doing some espionage here. Let's say the first thing. Well, it's supposed to be your you pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You uh know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Okay, because here's the thing. When Judy she was talking help. about him earlier, she's a mox too. Oh, she's not stuck. We go back. What am I? Uh, what am I stuck on? Years. How do I? How do I? Freaking, oh, here. There we go. Not, not sure what happened there. I had to press Alt to move forward. V, this is important. Okay, Judy's got it. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. What? It, what? Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In the way that she's life. talking to me, it sounds like she knows what my personality is supposed to be. And the other thing too, is when she was talking about uh, the, the man in the Arasaka family that we're gonna go steal this stuff from. The? She was talking about him like she knew him. And then here it is. She does know him. Cause she was like, he's a man that falls victim to the idea that this entire city sells to everyone who I'm waiting. walks through its gates. And I was like, are you dating him? Do you like him? Cause that's something that you would say. <clears throat> and it is maybe, I don't know. Something's going on. Hey, there you are. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Uh. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, uh, top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scanware. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? 
Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. She looks so tiny in that chair. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Here's the thing. We're getting close to four hours on the stream, and I feel like we're about to basically crack open a bigger can of worms with preparing for this mission. So I'm going to pause it here for tonight. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. It was a lot of fun. This game, I don't know, has just been really easy to get into. Um, the mechanics are something that I'm still getting used to, but in terms of the storyline and stuff, holy shit, it's easy to jump into. It's incredible. I'm loving it so much. Thanks for watching. If you had fun and want to see me again, consider subscribing or joining one of my other social medias like Twitch, Discord, or Twitter. Until next time, Choom.